glad to see you on our channel. Today you will see a selection of the funniest news bloopers. News 12 meteorologist Mike Rizzo experienced a technical glitch while reporting the weather. I feel like temperatures really take a tumble too because after the storm, um, this is baby spinach. This is not the storm, but this is baby spinach. But that, that's what I'm talking about there. <laughs> After the storm, you could have some baby spinach. I mean, why not? Um, but it's going to be cold, as you can see in your 10-day forecast. <laughs> there are so many options available for drivers like Uber, Lyft, not to mention Brynn. Give her a call. She can give you a ride home if you know her. She's very reliable. Fox 2 meteorologist Derek Kevr was scared during his weather report. So let's jump ahead to opening day here. Dry but cooler, so that's good because the first half of the week. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Who did this? Who's in charge of this? Who set this up? <laughs> Get out of here, spider. Nice work. <laughs> and you think I would have looked up to see it? It's huge, it's gigantic. Well done. Yeah, happy April Fools. Happy April Fools. <laughs> Whew. All right. Let me let this heart calm down. Okay. All right. Now back, back to the weather. The WTNH Wednesday Warrior host couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I see your bite. I was dying. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two. <laughs> Three. Oh, I can see it then. Show girl. Wait, no, just wait. Three, two. Stop. I'm so sorry. He's like, I'm out of here. I'm sorry. Three, two. Wink's Emma Heaton started having problems with math during the broadcast. And this map shows where each state ranks when it comes to those tax burdens. Florida, 47 out of the 50 states, which puts us at the lowest four. So if you do the math, 48,966 is going to be the yearly average salary here in Florida. So we're going to multiply that by the total tax burden percentage in our state. So they're going to do times 0 0.06. Uh, point, <laughs> I knew I would do this. Um, for, it should be 0 .06. <laughs> okay, we're just going to hang on. It's okay, Emma. <laughs> you know, Math for, is difficult. Okay, it was supposed to be 0 .0605. Anyways, you pay under $3,000 a year in taxes is the point that I was trying to get to there. Here's a little basketball math for you. I know you guys are like, don't let Emma do math again after that calculator incident. Now we'll find out what made the local 12 news anchors laugh. You, know, you gotta keep moving. <laughs> Are there any men in there? I think They're I only all. saw one man in like 25 yeah. women. That is a lucky guy right there. They're all dead. <laughs> oh no. Oh, is that what you no. Well, I know, but you don't have to say Mathematically it. Mathematically speaking. Dead? Oh, maybe they just didn't want to dance to Taylor Swift. <laughs> uh, no, they're gone. No, they're, no, they're in the cafeteria. <laughs> Don't tell Aaliyah. Oh, they gone. You're okay. making her sad. Sorry. Tara. <laughs> Could be me and Gumber and the old folks home someday. No, y'all gonna be Yeah, we did. <laughs> Reporter Bill Rohrer has the latest news from the Easter Festival. Come to Earth Day. You can take a ride in a peacock. And uh, enjoy the enjoy the festivities. All right, thank you, uh, Tanya and Mike. Something that I'm excited about. There's about four miles of trails mm -hmm. here that I want to come explore someday. When I, and I'm up here in Port St. Lucie. Just hop in that parade float slash peacock. I love it. So you have to pedal the peacock, right, TA? <laughs> Say that again, Tanya. I'm you sorry. Pedal, you pedal the peacock. It's not. There's no motor to it, right? Yeah, you pedal it. I thought uh, you said you pet it. I was like, work. that can't be right. <laughs> yeah, you pedal it. Yeah. Pet in the pedal and the peacock and there we go. T.A. Walker, hey, listen, a lot of fun to be I don't know what you do at your house, Tanya. <laughs> good, good, time, good time to get away from T.A. there. Oh, hey, listen. It's too funny. Uh, he had his jacket on, a little, ch little chilly in parts of the Treasure Coast this morning, T. Uh, Steve. <laughs> it is a little cool out there. It's so, so hot. <laughs>
We do have We started off in 50, in the 50s for many people, but but some people were in the 70s this morning. Anyway, here's a here's a live look outside. All right, let, let's get it together. And Wednesday, mm -hmm. maybe no, don't even. Say it. Yeah. No, no, no. It's the four-letter word starts with S. Hmm. Snow. Yes, <laughs> that's right. That could mix in with some rain hmm. on I Wednesday. You're gonna say showers. Yeah, it's just right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Two, what three. I was gonna say. Yeah. Blake Lemanchuk heard a strange sound while reporting. Yeah, you guys, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of people heading outdoors around the time that this is supposed to be going on. So what is actually happening? What's going on behind the scenes? Brian here, associate professor of physics at Albright College to explain. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Fire alarm's going off or something. We'll be back after this. I'm going to send it back to you right now. Ella Dorsey gave the challenge during a live broadcast. I asked if he would be with me. Like the freeze. You guys know the freeze. Oh, thank you. This isn't. Okay, so we're we a little trouble have... hearing Ella, but it, what she's doing is she's challenging Blooper to a race, right? Okay, you ready? Okay. <laughs> Come on, Ella. <laughs> Dude. Go! Go! Oh, 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 no! No! A couple uh, innings in, you're gonna want a jacket, okay? So bring the jacket. <laughs> you guys, we gotta come back out here live. I mean, it just doesn't get better than this. Take a look. This is all the, the type of entertainment you get when you come to Truist Park. Bet you didn't think you were gonna get blooper naked, but here we are, all right? Just a few short hours until opening day, y'all. I'm gonna have a forecast for the rest of the weekend, which looks glorious. It's April, it's beautiful, it's sunny. That's coming up here in just a bit. <laughs> Can somebody tell Blooper that we have kids watching this program? <laughs> okay. Morning family TV, Blue. He looks like he's posing for like a centerfold. Uh, that's what I said. What kind of magazine is he in there for? <laughs> Ella, thank you. Trust me, the, the foolishness will continue throughout the morning. <laughs> the technical questions made the WLNS 6 hosts laugh. So take a look. We want to just own it, right? We're going to own what That's happened. right. This um, is it, the top of the show. <laughs> the I 3D graphics didn't go away, did they? <laughs> they did not. So Sherry sprung a leak there. I sprung a leak. <laughs> She's go. okay, though. It's fine. It's you just handled it well. Going and going. And There's a little water in the studio now, though. <laughs> It's puddling on the desk, Siobhan even pointed out. The best part was you guys didn't know it really happened. No. So you came over to weather because I'm over there doubled over in pain laughing. Yeah. We saw the so green. I, yeah. yeah. We knew the green was still yep. on the screen, just not the placement of the, the leak. Our news director stayed up late and saw it, though, didn't he? He sure did. And his family had a great oh, time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. No wonder my phone was soon, buzzing. Huh? <laughs> Good night. Uh,